Hi, my name is James Gordner. Where should I, where should I begin? With the mural this year, I wanted to make sure that uh, I created a good experience for someone to be on the ground with. I wanted to make it so that you could explore every little section and find something new every time you came to the pool. I was very concerned with how the mural read up close and I wanted to give it a lot of variation. So when I was out here, you know, before the mural, I made some paintings on the ground where I ripped up canvases and I stretched those for the gallery. In doing that, I really noticed how much, you know, loose paint and how much damage the weather over the years causes to paint and how beautiful that is and how I could incorporate that into the work and collaborating with past. So the piece will be called Passage passing of time, uh, passing of space as you move through the piece, passing of, of seasons. And when I came in, I didn't really have a plan, you know, besides like immediately realizing that some of that damage should show through. So I started chiseling at the paint and pulling off loose paint chips to get at some of these lower layers. And um, it really is a sort of collaboration with uh, people and nature. It was important to me that I used a lot of recycled paint. In that way, when we use this reclaimed paint, what happens is we save that paint from being disposed of improperly or going to landfill or going down a drain. So we wanted to make sure that that was a part of the mural. Um, that's usually a part of my artistic practice in general. It's been a part of my practice for 20 years. So in a way, this mural naturally to use what was there, dig into it, expose layers. In that way, like the painting becomes a transformation. When I look at this work, I see passage of time and uh, evidence of past artworks and past murals. You know, it was a lot of fun to make. Um, I hope somebody could see the footprints in it, you can see the paint moving around, you can see all the various small techniques that were used, rolling, paint slopping, scraping, brushing, flicking, throwing, and pushing around. So hopefully there's something that you can, you can look at from up close and there's something that you can look at from far away that will be um, engaging and hopefully change even the next time you look at it. And it's been a lot of fun, you know, since the, ever since the first day, you know, that I came out and I started making paintings on the surface, I noticed how nice and different than the city, but the same as the city here. So I kind of wanted to reflect, you know, that sense of peacefulness, but also the sense of the city itself.